Welcome to our Prostate Patrol channel. In this episode, we'll address a topic that raises many questions and concerns, treatment options for a small penis. Here are the top 5 treatments for a small penis. 1. Hormone Therapy Hormone therapy may be prescribed by a doctor to correct hormonal imbalances that could affect penis development. Examples of medications include injectable testosterone, such as testosterone enanthate or cypionate or gel such as androgel or testum. As well as medications like clomiphene, which stimulate natural testosterone production in the body. This therapy helps correct hormonal imbalances that could affect penis development during puberty or adulthood. 2. Lengthening or Thickening Surgery Some people opt for surgery to increase penis size. However, it's important to note that these procedures are controversial and may have significant risks and side effects. Lengthening surgery involves cutting the suspensory ligament that attaches the penis to the pubic bone while thickening surgery. Involves injecting autologous fat or tissue into the penis to increase its circumference. Examples of surgical procedures include augmentation phalloplasty, which may involve releasing the suspensory ligament or transferring fat from other parts of the body to the penis. 3. Traction Devices Traction devices, such as vacuum pumps or penis extenders, are used to stretch the penile tissue and increase its length. These devices work by applying gentle and constant traction to the penis over a specified period. While some studies suggest that these devices may have some degree of efficacy, their use should be supervised by a healthcare professional. Traction devices apply gentle and constant tension to the penis with the goal of stretching the tissue and increasing its length. Examples of traction devices include vacuum pumps, such as Bathmate or Penomet, and penis extenders, such as Size Genetics or Fallows and Forte. These devices are used for several hours a day over a period of months to achieve significant results. 4. Fat Injections or Fillers Many men opt for autologous fat injections or dermal fillers to increase penis girth. These procedures involve taking fat from another part of the patient's body and then injecting it into the penile tissue to increase its circumference. Autologous fat injections or dermal fillers are used to increase penis girth by injecting materials into the penile tissue. Examples of materials used include autologous fat from the patient's own body, hyaluronic acid, or synthetic polymers. Examples of procedures include autologous fat lipo injection or hyaluronic acid injection. However, the results may be temporary and there are associated risks, such as nodule formation, surface irregularities, and the need for multiple procedures. 5. Penile Implants Penile implants are surgical devices implanted in the penis to allow controlled erections in men with severe erectile dysfunction. Examples of implants include semi-rigid implants, such as AMS Spectra, and inflatable implants, such as AMS 700. These devices can be manually activated to produce an erection, which can improve the appearance of the penis during sexual activity. Penile implants are surgical devices implanted in the penis to allow controlled erections in men with severe erectile dysfunction. While penile implants are not specifically designed to increase penis size, they can give the impression of a larger penis due to a firmer and sustained erection. However, this procedure is invasive, irreversible, and carries risks, such as infection, device rupture, and changes in sensation during sex. Additionally, we recommend that before undergoing any treatment, psychological therapy is recommended. Cognitive behavioral therapy is an invaluable tool for addressing concerns related to penis size. A therapist can work with you to identify negative thoughts and cognitive distortions, improve self-esteem and body image, and develop strategies to manage anxiety. Examples of therapeutic techniques include cognitive restructuring, gradual exposure, and acceptance and commitment therapy. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more informative content and give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Help us reach more people who may benefit from this information. Thank you for your support. As you can see, there are several treatment options for a small penis, ranging from hormone therapy to surgery and traction devices. 
Before deciding on any treatment, it's important to consider that each option has its own considerations and risks, and that not all men may be suitable candidates for these treatments. Remember that before opting for any treatment option, it's essential to speak with a doctor to assess the risks and benefits, and determine the most appropriate approach for each individual case. Remember that accepting oneself as one is and working on confidence and sexual skills can be equally important for a satisfying sexual life. Thank you for joining us in this episode.